Okay, today we're going to be in Math and Focus. We're going to be on Lesson 19.4 on page 371. If you don't have a pencil and paper, go get it now. I'll pause the video and come back once you got it. I'm going to transition to my screen. In Chapter 19.4, we're going to be talking about both perimeter and area. I did pre-teach this in a class session last week, um, so you should be able to use that. Um, it is look at the rectangle on the geo board. Now, I don't have our geo boards here. You don't have your geo boards at home, but you can still think about those concepts. You remember playing with, 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 with them. The perimeter of the rectangle is the distance around it. To find the perimeter, you find the length of each side and add them together. So this is a one centimeter square. This is one, two centimeters, one, two, three centimeters, one, two centimeters, one, two, three centimeters. So when you add that together, three plus two, plus 3 plus 2 equals 10 centimeters. Now you don't write squared or anything like that because if I took a string and put it around the outside, I would have one long 10 centimeter string. It would be a straight line. Let's look at this one. Sometimes they're not per perfectly even shapes. They're not a perfect square or rectangle or even tri triangle. They're odd shapes like this one. Let's find the param parameter. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11, plus 1 is 12. So the perimeter of this fig figure is 12 inches, but the area is 5 square in, in, in inches. How do we know the area? Can we count those squares? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's do this one. I'm a little close, sorry. Okay, look at these two fig figures on the geo board. They have the same param parameter. The perimeter of each figure is, we should count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That one's 14 centimeters. Let's check this one too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They both have a perimeter of 14 centimeters, but they do not have the same area. The area of figure A is blank square centimeters. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 square centimeters. The area of figure B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 square centimeters. So figures can have the same perimeter, but not the same area. They could even have the same area, but not the same perimeter. Those numbers do not have to go together. That's what the book is trying to show you. They're unique to the shape. Um, find the perimeter and area of each figure. I could go up just a little bit more so you can see that. Um, let's count here. Let's do the perimeter first. 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11 plus 1 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So the perimeter of number 4 is 14 inches. Look at the unit inches. The area is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 14 and 9. See if you can find 5 for me. Pause it and find it. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is the area, but the perimeter is 1 plus 4. Sorry, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 3 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Very good. Do figures C and D have the same area? Well, this was 8 and this was 8. Yes. Do they have the same perimeter? No. So you can have the same perimeter, but not the same area. You can have the same area, but not the same perimeter. If figures have both the same area and perimeter, they are congruent. They are the same shape. Um, well, not necessarily, but they most of the time are. <laughs> we'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, let's do this one right here. Complete. Do figures A and B have the same area? Explain your answer. 
Well, let's check it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, area for A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for B. So we have 10 and we have 8 for area. Do they have the same area? No. Let's try the next one. 2 plus 4 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that one is 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18? They have the same parameter. All right, very good. Let's have you guys do these ones on your own and then check them with me. So I want you to do um, C and D. Uh, pause the video, write it down, and then we'll check the answer. All right, the perimeter of C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5 more, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The perimeter is 16. 3, 6, 9, 12. 12. 16, 12. What about air area? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Area is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The area is 9. 9 and 9. Do figure C and D have the same area? Yes. Do they have the same perimeter? Nope. All right. Um, very good. I'm excited about this. Uh, make sure to do your workbook pa pages and submit them.